What's going on everyone and welcome to the Rabbit Mine YouTube channel and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to mine Yada Coin. Yada Coin. Yada Coin. Yada Coin. In Windows 10 and Hive OS. So the past few weeks Yada Coin has been hanging out in first place as the most profitable coin to mine but looks like recently as of I guess the last half hour it did drop down to about 53 cents per day on a 3900x. I'm guessing a bunch of hash rate picked up and Pulsar is having some issues. But this is the CPU mining profit calculator. You can find this at rabmine.com and then just click in the top right corner to CPU mining calculator and it will bring you to this. Fill in your hash rates for whatever algorithms and more coins will be added you know, fairly soon here. So if you haven't checked this out yet, be sure to check it out and you can see how profitable CPUs are currently looking. So to start off with CPU mining on Yatacoin, you're going to need to head on over to their website, yatacoin.io. I will have a link to everything I talk about in the description below, as well as other things like CPU parts, mining parts, and power supplies, whatever else you need. Everything should be in that description. But you head over to Yatacoin's website right here, and you're going to need your wallet. So just click on the simple little wallet icon up here. And then you're going to need to create your identity. Obviously, I have mine. If you don't, you're going to go through that, go through the steps. It's fairly straightforward and simple. And then you're going to click on your old identity. Once it's ready, it'll initialize and then just head over to wallet. Once you have your wallet, this is the address you are going to want to use. Step number two, we're going to have to find a pool. What pool do you want to mine on? So if you come on over to mining pool stats, you can pick your pool or choose whatever I showcase here. But yadacoin.io, this is the official pool of the coin. Uh, I do like JP Cyber right here as well because, one, they got a link to my website or I guess my YouTube channel. So awesome on them for doing that. <laughs> but if we come back here, and yes, this is probably why the profitability is coming down because we are seeing increase in this hash rate. So people have been using that profit calculator. They've seen it was first place, and now you're looking like at a hash rate increase going across the network for demonstration purposes i will be using the official pool yadacoin.io we're just going to click on that and this is everything you need here this is the pool url itself pool.yadacoin.io with port 3333 now you can use one of two miners one xm rig cc or srb miner now i did find that srb miner whether it's in hive os or windows it does like to just reboot sometimes. Now, this is a Yadacoin issue with SRB Miner. They need to do some tweaking here because SRB buying Miner works just fine in any other coin. So I recommend using XMRig CC. Quick Google search does bring us to Bendroid XMRig CC at GitHub. Click on that. Coming on in, scroll down to the latest release as of three days ago, and we can see that they did fix Yadacoin RX Yada Miner. So there's a recent update now. When I get into Hive OS, we are going to be using a different version because I can't seem to find this in Hive OS, even though they did tell us that they updated to this in Hive as well. I don't know where it is. It's hiding somewhere. XMRig CC does have a few different versions. So if you're not sure what version you want, just go with the GCC because as you can see, there's a 64-bit MVC Windows 64 or GCC Windows 64. And then the 32-bit is GCC. So you can roll with GCC and it will work on both. If you know you have 64 bit, straight up roll with the MVC. Scrolling down, you can see what I'm talking about here as there are a whole bunch of different downloads. So again, GCC will work with anything and MVC if you're rolling with 64 bit. Download this and we'll move on to the next step. Okay, so now we have our wallet address all ready to roll. We have the pool we are going to mine to. Now we got to set up our actual miner. So once we open up wherever you extracted your XMRig CC, just right click on that and edit your actual config file. So we're going to scroll down till we do find the parameters we need. And here they are. So under URL, you're just going to want to copy in your pool right here. So as you can see, I already got pool.yadacoin.io with port 3333. And then right underneath it where user is, just put in your actual wallet address 
And you don't need an actual worker name here. The way everything works, it doesn't really read your worker names. It just goes by hashes submitted to the pool. Now, normally we would be done at this point, but there's a little something different we do got to do here because as of the latest release of this miner itself, XMRig CC, they kind of got some technical issues going on. So if we scroll down into here where we see CC client, we have enabled equals true, or I guess semicolon, we got to actually change this true to a false. So I'm just going to go backspace here and show you, put this in as false. And now we're going to save it. Because if you don't do that and you don't like seeing red or something in your miner, you're going to have a really bad day because it's going to be spitting out some errors for you. It does not affect mining or anything in any way. It's just something going on inside the miner itself but it is not affecting anything but some people do have ocd with anything red or any type of errors it isn't an issue but just move this to false and you will fix that also by default this does have a dev fee of five percent so if we actually move up here you can drop this down to one percent just by simply going to donate level and putting a one here instead of a five once your config file is all done and saved you're going to come into xmrig daemon you're not going to run xmrig miner we're going to be running the daemon here but i always like to right click this first go down to properties and then go to compatibility and then make sure you have run this program as an administrator checked off hit apply and okay now you don't need to do that if you always come in here and right click and run as an admin. But if you forget sometimes, you're just going to boot it up and it's not going to apply MSR mode and you're going to run into some issues and a loss of a little bit of hash rate. Now we're going to roll into Hive OS. We're going to start with our wallet. So obviously we don't have a wallet in Hive OS. So we got to add one. So we're going to add our wallet. We're going to type our coin in the ticker and Yada coin is a coin already supported. So you just click on YDA paste your address into this point right here. Do I have mine? No, I don't. And then you just name your wallet. So video or something, whatever you want to name it. You got a coin, CPU miner, main coin, whatever. Uh, and then obviously you have your wallet address in here. Then you just click the create button. That's it. You're done. Now we got to make the actual flight sheet itself. So we're going to click on flight sheets here. We're going to pick our coin in the ticker again, YDA. Click on that wallet. We're going to use whatever you named it. This is what will pop up there for your Yada coin wallet pool. We're going to have to configure this in the miner. And then we got to select XM rig old. They don't have anything under new yet. Supposedly it's coming soon, but right now it's under XM rig old. So we're going to click on that. Now we got to set up our miner config. We have to scroll down and we got to go to the XM rig CC. Now here you can see the latest version is 2.9.7 it's not 3.2.1 that we're using in windows for some reason i cannot find hive os said they updated it i can't find it anywhere and they don't have the proper algorithm when you use xmrig new so we're just gonna take a look at that right quick here and kind of show you what i'm talking about xmrig uh we're gonna pick xmrig new we're gonna set up our minor config and now i'm gonna pick uh, cc but in here, it's a random X. It's a remake of, I guess, XMR, random X, but it's random X Yada. But it does not have random X Yada here. So if we just go random X, we can see we have XMR, Epic, Loki, a Calaro, and XDAG. But there is no well, nothing here for Yada coin. So we do have to use XM rig old for this operation. So we're just going to go back again, type XM rig, find old right there and then set up our miner config we can just use wallet.worker name that's just fine again now we got to go back to our pool scroll all the way up here get our pool id which is right here bam looking good copy paste that into your pool url we don't need a password we don't have to set anything here we are going to want to set the dev fee in our config override we're just going to paste in our command like so so quotations donate dash level quotation semicolon space one now remember by default this is always five percent so if you mess something up it'll say five percent if you did it right it'll let you know that you're utilizing only one percent and that's it apply changes name your flight sheet tester yada like so and create that flight sheet we'll find it now where is tester yada right here it just popped up I guess we got to pick a rig. So I got to grab a worker here. We're going to pick rig one. Where's rig one? There you are. We got rig one with no flight sheet. 
We're scrolling down, test yada, engage. Now we're going to SSH into our rig. We log in here and here we go. Looking good. So our dev fee, 1%. There we go. We're starting to load up. We're not having any issues. CC feature is disabled by default. So it looks like Hive OS disables that feature. So we won't be getting the errors anyway. So that's good. Good to know. I didn't pay attention to that actually earlier, but we can see it's disabled there and everything's mining away just fine at 1%. So that's how you mine Yada coin on Hive OS. Hive OS is so much faster and easier to get rolling than something like Windows. I really don't like Windows, but a lot of people do. So everyone has their own personal preference. Hive OS is my go-to for pretty much anything mining. There we go, guys. So you should be up and mining Yada coin in Windows 10 or Hive OS, depending whatever you prefer by now. If not, just let me know in the comments if you had any issues or just join up to the Discord. Link is in the description as well. Come and hang out, chat, you know, ask questions. If you need help on anything, I'm there as well as plenty of other people that can help you through your way. So thank you for watching this video. Be sure to hit that subscribe button, thumbs up and bell notification. I will see you on the next one rabbit out thank you for watching my video and if you haven't seen one of these be sure to check them out and if you already seen them maybe you missed some might have to watch it one more time and if you just let it play in the background that's all right as well i do try to live stream every weekend as well as every couple days during the week so be sure to be subscribed so you don't miss that as always have a great day